Oh, I forgot to put us on the live stream. So now, and well, at least you guys are seeing, at least you guys are seeing what this whole talk that I'm about to do with Inga, we are about to pop up on your screen, is about. So welcome to International Intuitives Raising Awareness. And today I have the lovely Inga. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Inga. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you, Tiffany. Yeah. Really excited to be here and even more excited for the next week. Yes, yes. Tuesday, mark the date, peeps. Even if you can't make it live, that's okay because the 11 intuitive experts that I have uh, gathered for you from my own walk, that they're you know, they're people that have meant something to me on my journey. And uh, so Inga was definitely one of them. And we'll talk a little bit about why. But even if you can't make Tuesday live, it doesn't matter because you can get access for the whole week. OK, and that means that the speakers will be in the group for a week with you. So you can just check out their replay. And if you have any questions, they can get back to you. But if you're here and you're watching live today, then, you know, we're here. We're, we're here for you live now. So if you have any questions for Inga about how to do spiritual business or intuitive business, uh, because sometimes it feels like the two just don't mix, right? Then um, please do put your messages in the chat box and we will come back around to you. So somebody's put a message saying hello. Hi there. Um, if you haven't registered with StreamYard, that's fine, but it just doesn't show us your name until we get off of the call. So um, if you want us to know who you are, please do put your name in. But you know what? If you want to stay anonymous, you can do it that way as well. You can still ask a question. We won't mind. We're weeings. Be all right with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Inga is an intuitive business strategist and her talk on uh, Tuesday is live at 12 p.m. BST time, which is 7 a.m., EDT time for those of you across the pond and Canada and Mexico and you know we are in international intuitives and we are we have got people in Canada the states and Mexico joining us as well so I'm trying to bring in your time zones too so you know if you want to join it live hello Marlene fab to see you here and Michelle's with us too Michelle is one of the speakers as well on Tuesday lovely to see you here Michelle so, Inga, what's the title of your talk again? So, my title is, Is Intuition a Curse or a Blessing in Your Business? Ooh, and what do you think? Um, I think that intuition is a very powerful tool, but if you don't use it right or misuse it or don't use it, it will work against you. And that's why um, it, it has both components in, in our business. And I have experienced myself. So for me, in the beginning, I discovered that I have um, intuition, my intuition is developing. And then it caused so many problems while I was mastering the art of intuition. <laughs> oh yes and I think this is it isn't it it's like people think like oh you know just um whilst I develop my intuition if I just develop my intuition everything will be you know totally a-okay you know when actually it's not as straightforward as that really is it so is that what you're going to be talking about more in your yes talk? yes because we all have like intuition or uh, more developed and then strategic mind a little bit less or it's less natural for us mm. and i came from from a strategy point of view first and then i applied intuition and i went into intuition deeply and what i'm doing now i'm using it as a hybrid and uh understanding the challenges that I went through myself 
I can understand what challenges my clients are going through and I can find the ways how make it from challenges to excitement. And I have created a lot of products to make business life easier for intuitives um, because we have a lot of activities in our business that need to be done but we are not that keen, especially as intuitives. Mm-hmm. Let's say numbers, admin stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Unless it's numerology. If it's numerology, <laughs> it passes. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why I created numbers party first for my clients, and then I brought it into my membership as well. And we work on our numbers, um, having a party together. Mm, fantastic and you do things like um uh done for you, uh, do it days do, as well don't uh, you where we all get together you. yeah done with you with it's, you yeah yeah it's another one where we dive deep into some maybe technology or facebook ads some things that mm. you either pay a lot of money to outsource or you spent a lot of time trying to do it yourself everything can be done within 30 minutes amazing now you say that i already know a client that um needs to i'm gonna have to tag them because i don't think they're here but it's like you can tell that inga's managed to um articulate uh what she does very well because i you know i'm i'm listening to her and i'm already thinking ah okay this is what this person needs, you know? And so you might be there thinking, oh my God, this is what I need, or I know somebody that that needs this. Now, if she can do this for herself, that means she can do it for you as well. And she understands the um, challenges of being intuitive. I've worked with so many business coaches that have not understood that. And it's been... uh, I don't know what, I mean, the intuitive path is never a straight path. It's never Mm -hmm. an A to B path, is it? You know, um, you start something and I think in general in business, you, you have a plan for something. It's, it's like this in your head. And then the minute you start it, it just has a life of its own. And I think that's also creation, whether that's a child or a creative project, a hobby or, or a business. And I think the spiritual journey is very much about letting go of our expectations and really just um, seeing what is there. But I have joined uh, with business mentors that haven't understood the intuitive or the spiritual way of thinking. And it just, it left me feeling like a lot of intuitives feel, which is um, I can't shine, number one, because um, it's obvious that I'll outshine them in some way that's another uh-huh. one so I'll dumb myself down or my talents or my gifts down um but I would also feel misunderstood I would f- and that would drive me crazy with frustration and I'd feel very angry and it was it I think as an intuitive my personal thing has been around not being able to articulate and we have that problem in business anyway don't we um and particularly intuitive businesses it's like how when they're saying to you like what's the result what's the benefit of the person (laughs) what they're going to get it's like (laughs) who knows until it's done yeah Yeah, but, but you can also feel into it and this is how you can use intuition as your strengths right then you feel into the possible outcome and i remember when i created my magical creators live event for the first time and you attended my Mm -hmm. only message was i can't promise you anything because it's the first event just feel into it so i was appealing into intuitive abilities Mm -hmm. of people who would be drawn and Mm -hmm. also this is how you uh, can tap into your potential customers, even when you're intuitive, you invite them to feel and get on the journey. And then there is this trust process where they choose you as your guide, and then they are open to any possible outcomes. Which is 
easy when you're face to face with someone but what about when you've got to do like a sales page for instance mm -hmm. quite often i've had to just put something down on a sales page based on like um my ideal avatar you know on things along those lines and then and i another person will come back to me who is an another ideal avatar and they'll be like well i'm drawn to doing this but what it says on the sales page isn't anything i need and it's like then i have to say well i've you you understand you get this i have to put something <laughs> and then but, they get it but you yeah. see sales page still served its purpose that person reached out to you to find out they still mm. could connect with it so um you can't rely on sales page to do the work for you no so it's an yeah. invitation so basically that sales page still worked for you even though it didn't address needs of that as a client avatar mm. and i remember one of my uh sales pages that worked really well uh, it was downloaded it was like a channel and i wrote it as as a letter so it, it Love didn't that. Like sales page but it was as a letter and i was talking to that one person in my head and it was my most successful sales page oh i love that and this is the second time i've had tingles when you've been speaking inga um i, I had tingles and downloads when you just started speaking at the beginning of so like every time you're speaking i am getting tingles i feel yeah. activated i feel downloads and uh yeah michelle is saying creating a business is definitely a birthing process absolutely so if you have any questions for inga while she's here live do put them in and um i'm going to show you inga's position on the tree yes i'm going to talk a little bit about that so we're just going to disappear i'm going to put the um the you know picture back up again here we go so you can see inga is we had mel yesterday who's at the bottom and then inga is at like one o'clock um for up from mel okay on the right and that for those of you that don't know the story behind this graphic i was just saying you know inga just asked me she said did you do this on purpose and i was like no i I didn't position anyone on purpose because I didn't even realize the tree of life was happening until the graphic came back. And I was like, oh my God, there's the tree of life. So Inga is on a position called, I don't know if I'm saying this right, it's called Netzach. And I might not be saying it right because I am not the, um, let's see if we can get us both up at the same time here. No, okay. So uh, let's just come back up. All right, so you can see where she is, guys. You can see that you've got that clocked. So let's just put us back up again. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not great with the Kabbalah, even though it ties into the tarot. So it's such a profound thing that I, I've i got David, who's one of the speakers, and he's the author of this book. Um, I've been messaging him saying, what, what do I say, you know, about the, the tree of life and uh, Inga? And he sent me a little bit. And now what I do know about Netzach is, um, but he's got some questions for you, okay? But what I do know about Netzach is that it is the place of, or however you pronounce it, is that it's the place of victory, okay? It's and <laughs> yeah, it's a good one to be in, right? It's the place of victory and it resonates with the tower, the star and the moon, which on a person's journey is about them freeing themselves from the devil, i.e. full security, work, jobs that don't fulfill them stepping into the star which is activating the soul's purpose but then the moon the moon is highly intuitive but also really unsure full of self-doubt and so it's like you're on that road with them and taking them to victory it's just perfect for what you do um and so i just love that that you ended up there it's just amazing <laughs> i didn't even know that it, you know it's just oh <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's about okay so david has some questions well here so um 
it resonates with the number seven as well. I'm a number seven. What number are you in numerology? Um, Do you number, know? Number uh, three. You're number three. Okay. So um, it says here, has, has she experienced any betrayals, illusions, needed to be aware of and passion and the courage to, required to succeed? And uh, also because that you're on the right pillar, you can bring in the left brain functions. We've just been speaking about logic and reasoning <laughs> and divine masculine energy, projective, stimulating and outgoing. So yeah. does that sound like you and your story? Okay, yeah. mm, and obviously I don't, I don't want to go too much into your story because you'll be sharing a bit more about that on Tuesday because Tuesday we're going deep and vulnerable. I am asking, it's not just another, oh, it's another talk. It's not just another talk, really. It's, oh. uh, you know, what's it really like to be intuitive? I'm asking the speakers to go deep and share, you know, their own journey, struggles with it and share vulnerably. So um, if you do want to get into international intuitives, raising awareness, that starts on Tuesday. The link is in the post. You just need to click it. It's £11. 50p of that goes to the charity War Child and the rest goes back in the pot to get this message out there because what's the message about? Well, it's about standing for the intuitive that's been told they're evil, not equal, weird, not wonderful, <laughs> or they should be ashamed rather than shine, you know, because um, it's kind of time to say, look, our gifts are just as valid as everybody else's. It's just everybody fears what they don't understand. And we, like Ingo has shared, even when you know you're intuitive, the path to understanding how it benefits you is a very long and convoluted path. And so that is why I'm bringing 11 speakers that have been on the path for years. I, me and Inga have known each other since 2014. Um, mm -hmm. So that's when we took our businesses seven online. Years. Look, seven years. Seven years. There you go. And so, yeah, come and and learn a lot both intuitive and practical to help you succeed in victory particularly as Ingo is holding that space there for you on the tree any last words from you Ings yeah um, I think it's a great um, opportunity to practice your own intuition right so tune in um, logic will probably tell you, I don't have time, I'm really busy that week, or 11 pounds. <laughs> so all the rationale, it means that you need to be there because something sh will shift for you and your ego is trying to keep you safe and not changing anything. So just, just trust the process. That's a real tower statement. <laughs> <laughs> to lead them into the star. Well done, Ings. That's fantastic. And thank you so much for your time and support as always. And I really look forward to your talk on Tuesday. And thank you, everybody here that's been watching alongside with us. Lots and lots of love. Bye for thank now. You. See you on Tuesday. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>